Hey everybody, it's Real Deal. I just wanted to come t talk to you about my new purchase. So I've been wanting a pocket carry gun. Um, I've pocket carried off and on through the years. I've tried different guns, different things. Um, just never liked it. Uh, well, I liked it, but I just never was... Um, I didn't make it a daily practice, let's say that. Try different guns, all right? I bought a, a Taurus TCP uh, 380 and then bought it, shot it, it wouldn't run right. I took it to my local gunsmith. Um, he had a, a reliable package, had him do it, and it ran like a champ after that. Carried that for a while, but then I stopped carrying it. Um, and then I ended up selling it because um, it was a 380. And then I bought one of those little 22 Magnum North American Arms. Carry that for a long time. Um, but never really did anything for me. Um, so I ended up selling that. Um, I had a few other guns, just didn't work. The closest thing that I bought that worked was a J-Frame uh, Aluminum uh, Smith 38. And as far as I'm concerned, that was my best ca uh, pocket carry backup gun. Um, but then I quit carrying that for a while. <clears throat> and I ended up selling it <clears throat> to a friend of mine because I wanted to purchase another firearm. Firearm. Um, but I've been wanting a, I've been wanting another uh, second carry gun, a backup gun, and I was looking. Uh, a buddy of mine has a Bodyguard 380, and that was pretty cool. I like that gun, but again, it's 380. I didn't want a 380. I wanted a nine millimeter. And then uh, I came across a video, and I saw that Springfield made a little 1911. I got excited about that. Then I found out they no longer made those. Um, and then I saw the one that um, Sega makes. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, and that, you know, I'll, looking into it, I thought, ah, oh, it's a good gun. And then I came across the Kimber Micro 9. And I really, really like the Kimber Micro 9s. And then I also came across the Kimber Solo. And those are pretty cool too. Only thing I don't like about that, it's a striker fire. And if I'm on a pocket carry, I want a hammer fire. Um, I know a lot of people that carry striker fires as backup guns in their pocket. They put usually put them like in a remora, sticky holster or whatnot, but a striker fire pistol in my front pocket or in a belly band or something like that. Uh, it doesn't uh, sit right with me. Um, but yeah, I really like those Kimber's micro nines and I also like their solos. So I was looking into those and those are a little pricey, but I think are well worth it though. Well worth it. Uh, a lot of, so I've been doing a lot of errands and stuff and I've been, Get leave my house before I have to go to work because I work second shift and I've been going to these places and are going to guns got done. Man, I'm all over the place. Got done with my errands. Go to gun store to kill time before work because it's not. I live out in the country. It's not worth going into in town and then turn around and coming back home. So I stay in town until it's time to go to work. And uh, hit a couple gun stores, look at stuff, price stuff. And a while ago, we had a Range USA open up here. I have to tell you, I'm not impressed with Range USA. Um, they don't impress me. I mean, yeah. I live in Indiana. They have Chicago prices. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you talk to them, they're like, oh, well, a corporation sets the prices. That's a problem with... Um, corporations right I love supporting the mom and pa gun shops 
So I stopped in there, right, to look at, look around, look at some guns and stuff. And I, I will say this about Range USA. Um, they are good on their prices for uh, used guns. So I was looking in the, the cabinet, and they had, a, they had actually two of them. They had a Sig Sauer, and it's a, a P290SR. Looked very interesting. And I'm like, I've never heard of that. So I left there and went, went to work. I'm killing some time at work. Uh, get on YouTube, look it up. And find, no, I got the information on it. Find out that SIG no longer makes them. They discontinue it because it's a single stack. They were making those guns. And then they, they made them from 2011 to 2012, the first versions. Then they revamped them. And from 2012 to 2017, they made them. And then they stopped making them and they came out with the 365 because everybody was in the double stack uh, small gun. So, but they had one for 300 bucks. And Friday before work, I went in there and I picked one up. And this gun is just cool. I like this gun. I've never had a pocket carry gun that I like so much as this. Um, you know, this thing is an inch wide this way, and then it tapers down and gets smaller for the grip. It has very good stempling all the way through. You can change these panels out, and they make G10 panels that you can put into them and stuff, and that's really cool. It has a still metal trigger with no stupid dingus because it's not striker fire, it's hammer fire. And here's the hammer. And it comes with night sights right off the bat. It comes with night sights and they still work. Um, they're real sights and you know what I'm saying? This is a real gun. It's not like a really micro gun that's, you know, um, sort of like a toy gun, you know what I'm saying? If you're a gun guy or a gun girl, you know what I'm saying. And then here's the, check out that front. Look how wide that is. And I'm not going to do a safety check for you guys because guess what? I know what condition my gun's in. I know what's over there. I know what's over there. I know what's behind me. And I know what's in front of me. And if you need me to do a safety check so you feel better at home, Go ahead and click off now and go watch another video because it's not gonna happen. But check out this barrel. I'll lock it back. See that? Look, look at that. Looks like a pilgrim gun. <laughs> but they, they really flare that out. And the reason they do that is because it makes the lockups so much tighter and they say it's more accurate accurate and I have to agree with them um, I am very blessed and I live out here in the country and I have a few acres and I built a gun range so today I went out shot about 100 rounds through this thing um, flawless absolutely flawless accurate as get out this gun's way more accurate than you are um Double action. This trigger is smooth. Uh, it's nice. And look at the hammer. It's long. It's a long trigger, but it is smooth. Uh, I think uh, from the factory comes nine. I heard people online say after they shoot it for a while, it, it turns into be about a six pound, five pound trigger, plus the smoothness. Um, it's just nice. And, and I like this as a pocket carry. I don't... Um, Stick it. I, I've carried it the last two days in my pocket with no holster. I wasn't worried about it one bit. You can, uh, for you guys who like to threaten your uh, your junk on a daily basis and point your barrel at your package, you could. This will be a good gun for that because you can put your thumb on the trigger or on the hammer and put it in your holster. Uh, it's chunky. It's an inch wide. That's one of the things I like about it. I like the look of this gun. And, you know, 
The left, this gun weighs 20 ounces, 23 ounces when it's loaded. So, oh, I forgot to tell you, it came with one mag. I just ordered a couple mags online at six plus one. But this ain't a main carry. This is a backup gun. This ain't my main carry. This is for backup purpose only. I don't need a double stack. I don't need a bigger gun in my pocket. Took it down to the gun range and this thing is a flat shooter. Um, you know, I hate when people online say, it's a micro gun, but it shoots like a full size gun. Cause a lot of times what they, they're just saying not to say it. It's true with this gun. This gun is a flat shooting. This gun is comfortable to shoot. I had a buddy who had an m and um, shield and a 45. That thing used to make my hand hurt shooting that thing. You get a Smith Jane frame, ultra light, put some um, 38 plus P's in it. That thing will make your hand sing. This thing is just a beautiful shooter. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, I have to tell you, this thing was like brand new. I know everybody says that when they buy a new gun, they buy a used gun. It's, it was perfect, but it was. I put more marks on the hammer and then the barrel today shooting it than what was on it. And, you know, I think it was one of these guys who bought this gun, threw it in the safe, never did anything with it. Um, I'm so happy that I purchased this. Oh, I bought this gun. So this gun was for $299 at Range USA. So I walked in there after doing my research and I wanted the gun. So I walked in there, there was two of them in a the case. I said, let me see that one. It comes, it, you know, as is one mag, one mag, that's it. No box, no nothing. That's how, that's how it came. So it came as is. I told, I looked at it. I said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you 250 done deal. So the guy went and talked to his manager, come back. No, they couldn't do it for them to do that. They have to call down to Cincinnati, to, um, the corporation. This is why it's bad to deal with corporation gun stores. The reason why I don't like it. Can't do it. I said, okay. And then I said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you full price if you throw in a free sticky holster. You know, there's, those are like 23, 25 bucks. Went and talked to his manager, came back, nope, can't do it. And I said, okay, well, I'm gonna have to walk away because I'm not paying that price for it. I said, it's a used gun, comes with only one mag right there, no box, no nothing, I'm done. So he said, okay, he put it away. I walked away. I walked around the store for a little bit, you know, see if they would say anything or not. They had a sign, they're having to sell. All SIGs 10% off. I read the sign. The sign says all SIGs 10% off. Didn't say new SIGs, it said all SIGs. So uh, a new salesman come up, much better guy. I liked him better. He comes up to me and I said, let me see that gun again. So I'm looking at it. He goes, that's a pretty nice gun. I said, yeah, it is. I said, you have a sign over there on the counter that says all six, 10% off. I said, give me 10% off on this gun. Done deal. I said, the sign says all six. Didn't say new six. It says all six. <laughs> so he's like, oh man, I can't give you. I can't get you 10%. But he says, I'll tell you what, I'll get you 5% off. And I said, well, if you can get me 5% off on this gun, I'll buy it right now. So he went and talked to his manager, come back and said, yeah, we'll give you 5% off. So I bought this, I bought this gun with taxes and everything out the door for 304. I'm gonna call that a victory. You know, you can't get guns for cheaper if you don't ask, if you don't, you know, all they can say is no. Then, you know, if you're gonna pay full price anyways, you're not losing anything. So keep that in mind. But that's why I don't like dealing with corporation gun stores uh, because they're corporations. I much rather deal with a mall and Paul shop. And that's what I usually do. Um, I went to my other gun store who I always buy my guns from and I, I confessed to him that I cheated on him and bought a gun somewhere else. But I'm gonna go buy a remora holster from him. <laughs> so 
So he'll make some money at least on this purchase. Um, so Range USA. So I fill out the paperwork, and you have to do it do it on the um, stupid computer. I rather fill out the paperwork. I fill out it. I I fill it out. They they send it to you know they send it for a background check. I'm very lucky and blessed that it only takes when they send my form in to get the okay. I get it instantly. I never get delayed. I never it never takes that long. I mean it. I mean it's instant. All right. I don't know why, but I'm blessed that way. So they call. So we filled it out. And you're like boom. You pass. I'm like well yeah I, I knew that. So before he can do the sell, he has to check it, the the, the information on the computer, and then hit, uh, another coworker has to check it, and then the floor manager has to check it, and then like the manager checks it. So four people checks the information after it's been approved. It's absolutely ridiculous. But okay, it is what it is. So I purchased the gun on a Friday. Sun, today's Sunday. I went down to gun range, shot it, but I get a phone call from USA. He says, we have a problem with your, with your paperwork. And I'm like, what? He's like, uh, yeah, you spelt your name wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've only been spelling it for 51 years, but okay. I spelled my name. I'm like, what part of my name did I spell wrong? He says, you spelled your last name wrong. I said, what? He says, you were supposed to put a dash in the middle of your name. And I wasn't paying attention. And he's like, we need you to come down as soon as possible. I'm like, hey, yeah, it ain't happening today. Uh, I'll see if I can make it in tomorrow. So I went down to the gun range with my buddy. We're shooting. And I was telling him about the phone call. And he's like, they must think you're, you know, mm, something. And so I called them back after we're done. And I said, what do you, how do you think I spelt my name wrong? He said, you didn't put a dash in the middle. I said, because there isn't a dash in the middle of my name. I said, my name is not, mm -mm. and they're like, oh, oh, and I'm like, you know, corporate's going to have a fit. Corporate, corporate wants you to come down and change it. <laughs> I'm like, corporate, tell corporate to suck it. You know, who's corporate? There may be somebody to you, but they're not nobody to me. And so I told him, I said, you know what? I'll come in when it's convenient. I'm not, I'm not sweating this. I mean, I told him, I said, this is ridiculous. I've already been approved by the government. Everything was done. And because corporate wants this dash in there. And I said, I'll come down and talk to you when it's convenient for me. So that's my story with Range USA. I don't know if I'll ever buy a gun from them again. I don't know. I won't hold that against them too much, I guess. I don't know. If I find a really good deal, I'll buy a gun from them. But it's silly. Oh, it's silly. But I'm telling you what, man. This gun is the bomb. I love this gun. This is my first SIG. It's my first SIG I ever owned. And this is such a good shooter. My gosh. I can't believe how good she this is. So I'm curious with you guys that um, you guys would carry two guns, a backup gun, because that's that's what this gun is. This ain't a main carry. This is a backup gun, and I've carried it, and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So as this being a backup gun, when I put this in my pocket, I put this in my left left hand pocket, right. I'm right handed. My main gun is on my right hip. This is a backup gun. So the reason why I keep it in my left pocket is, and I've heard other, some um, old school um, legends in the gun community of training say to keep it in your left pocket. And the reason why is if you're in a struggle with somebody, somebody's going after your gun, you're fighting with them, you're going to be, you know, you're fighting them, keeping away from your gun. You may have this hand oh, free, you reach in your left pocket, boom, 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 you take care of the problem, you know. So I'm just curious how many people that are right-handed carry in their left pocket. I'm just wondering how many people do that. But yeah, I bought this gun. 
304. Thing's beautiful. Ordered a couple mags. I'm gonna get a holster here probably tomorrow. I this is I've been really lucky lately. You ever buy a gun that you thought you really you really really wanted and you thought it would be a really good gun and shoot it and then you buy it and you shoot it and you don't like it. The last three, four guns have been beautiful. Like I'll I'll use this as an example. I bought a I bought a C Z P ten C. I've been wanting one for a long time. I just never bought one. I bought one. Started carrying it and stuff. I didn't like it. It was a great shooter. Um, it was it shot beautiful and everything. I just didn't like it the way it felt on my body. Don't matter if I went outside the waistband, inside the waistband. I just didn't like to. It wasn't comfortable. So I ended up getting rid of that. Well, when I do another video on another gun, I'm going to show you. I'll, I'll talk more about that one. But yeah, if you have a chance to come across one of these and you want a good backup gun, I'm telling you, this thing is beautiful. This thing is perfect for me. This thing is so such a flat shooter. It's unbelievable. I've had 380s this size that have 10 times more recoil than this. You know, the 38 snub nose with plus P has tons more recoil than this. Uh, every gun has its advantage. Uh, you know, revolvers have their, J Fame revolvers have their advantage when you, when you carry them. I like this because it's smaller than J Frame. It has less recoil than the J Frame. It comes with real sights. Uh, and it's six plus one. They make an eight round mag. I don't want those because this ain't a main carry. I'm not gonna carry an eight round mag in my pocket, nor am I gonna carry a backup mag for this because this is a backup gun. Like the saying says, why reload when you can regun? Um, so I'm all about the regun. But yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. So, if you, if you get a chance to shoot one, I highly suggest you shoot one and see if you like it or not. If you come across one for a really good price, I would pick it up. That's me. Everybody likes different things on guns. Everybody likes, everybody handles recoil different. This thing to me is such a flat shooter. I love it. I love it. So yeah. So, I don't know if I gave you the proper name for this, and I'm getting old, so I need I need uh, glasses. This is the Six Hour P two nine zero R S, and it's absolutely beautiful. Some you can buy red dots and attach them right here. This is a rubber thing that you remove. I don't want none of that. And like I said, this is a double action trigger. It's absolute, it's long, it's long. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah. Hey, so I'm talking to the guys out there, especially ones with the beards, man. I don't know about you, but me, when I grow a long beard, um, I get dry skin, get the flakes, get the itch. And I'm here to tell you, that I buy this stuff and then I'm not sponsored by them or nothing. I just want to give my brothers some tips out there. This is Bozeman. It's called beard jelly. And I put this in the morning and in the evening before I go to work. So in the morning and at night, right when I get out of the shower, I put it on. And then before I go to work, I put it on and you rub it inside and it moisturizes the skin. So you don't get the itches and you don't get the bare flake. The, the flakes, beer flakes. They got different uh, flavors, smells, and all this stuff. This is Stagecoach. This is um, leather, tobacco, and wood. And it, I, I dig it. It's my favorite. But yeah, if you have a big beard and you and you want to try something, they make tons of stuff. They make beer bongs, bombs that are good too. But these are for you know, for real men who grow beards. It's in, this ain't for people that drink Bud Light. This is for people who can grow hair. All right, brothers and sisters. Until next time, remain always and thrive to live free. And for my Christian brothers and sisters, live free in Christ.
Peace.